Who is that man? It is Mr. Colburn. That is Mr. Colburn. Markham, you look so elegant. And, well, you look nothing like a governess. That's high praise indeed, coming from Augusta. Lady Denham. Oh, Colonel Lennox, you're most welcome. Thank you, milady. Are you having a pleasant day? Very pleasant, thank you. We've been very lucky with the weather. I should congratulate you on a... Mm. Please excuse me. Mr. Colburn. Miss Hayward. I wasn't aware that you and my governess were acquainted. I would presume Miss Hayward to be a friend. Would you indeed? Mm. Excuse me. You chose not to heed my warning, I see. Is it not possible he has changed? I very much doubt it. But for your sake, I shall try to be civil. It was a mistake for us to come. I had no idea you and that man were so intimately acquainted. Whatever the history... Between... What do you know of our history? Only that there is clearly some animosity. Colonel Lennox can have the grace to set that aside for one afternoon. Surely you can do the same. For Miss Markham's sake, if nothing else. Very well. We will stay a short while, but we shall keep our distance. Say, Wood, you seem perturbed. My sister will not listen to reason. If she finds the truth inconvenient, she just disregards it. Well, in my experience, a young woman's opinion once formed is very hard to alter. It's been a decade since I found myself on an occasion such as this. I fear I've lost whatever social graces I once owned. Perhaps you can remind me how to hold a conversation. I thought you had employed me to teach the girls, Mr. Colvin. Not you. <laughs> 